Remember the days when we first saw the launch of 4 gigabytes of RAM on a phone, then 6 gigabytes, and then we saw 8 gigabytes, and when we saw 12 gigabytes, we said it was an overkill. An Android smartphone doesn't really need that much of RAM, and that wasn't really practical. Well, it seems like Xiaomi is going to push the mark further by launching the first phone with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Hey everyone, this is Akash here and you're watching Tech Infinity. So recently, a lot of gaming phones have been gaining traction like the Razer phone, the Xiaomi Black Shark series and the Asus Republic of Gamers smartphones. And other manufacturers have also tried such similar gaming phones. Well, seems like the Xiaomi Black Shark 2 could be the first smartphone to come with 16 gigabytes of RAM on board. And these Xiaomi gaming smartphones are famous for ensuring very interesting technical specifications. They allow gamers to have fun without limitations. And the new model is expected to continue with the tradition of usurping the spe specifications of any smartphone market. Well, as I already mentioned, it will have 16 gigabytes of RAM option. So that will probably be the top tier variant and not your generic variant and it will probably start with 8 gigabytes of ram and then 12 and then 16 or maybe directly jump to 16 with that would probably be a special edition variant with i don't know maybe like 512 gigabytes of internal storage or something like that and it would be really expensive so basically this variant would be there to make the headlines that whoa this is the first smartphone with this much amount of ram and other specifications are to be expected this smartphone will run on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor and we will basically be seeing a 5G version of the smartphone as well. And we are likely to see UFS 3.0 storage and screen supporting 240Hz of touch sampling rate. Do note that this is different from uh, that 120Hz that you diff generally hear with smartphones like the OnePlus 70 Pro or the Asus ROG 2 that is different this is the touch sampling rate and the other one is basically for your fps so you basically feel the different smoothness with that kind of specification of the display while in this case you will basically be seeing uh, the touch response of the smartphone and other than that we'll basically be seeing snapdragon 865 processor and i do expect that this smartphone will come with 120 hertz of refresh rate with the display so i expect that this will definitely be having at least say 4500 mAh to 6000 mAh of battery because this is a gaming phone and that high refresh rate screen as well as the processor is going to take up a lot of battery and other than that we will expect to see fast charging here as well something higher than 30 watts in my opinion because a lot of manufacturers are now coming out with 50 watts of fast charging and other than that you can expect special features uh, with gaming phones like special gaming accessories that you saw with previous Xiaomi smartphones that basically allows you to shoot better with the smartphone and you could come with various attachments as well and there will probably also be some kind of cooling system so some manufacturers stick to liquid cooling while others give a dedicated fan to smartphones so this will basically be a very interesting smartphone that launches and we'll have to see how much the price will be because i hope that this smartphone is reasonably priced because the 8 gb ram variant of the asus rog 2 smartphone was priced around 38000 rupees in the indian market and in other markets too that it was sensibly priced and this could basically be a smartphone for mainstream buyers as well if this offers a big battery and in addition to that it is on a decent price and as for the resolution of the display we have in the past seen just 1080p displays on gaming smartphones in most of the gaming smartphones but i hope that this time they make the jump to a quad hd display that is a 2k display and other than that I also hope that the cameras will be pretty decent on the smartphone because this is not going to be a very cheap smartphone and if you are going to buy such an expensive smartphone it should at least have camera capabilities that are better than mid-range smartphones. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. And do let me know your thoughts about this smartphone in the comment section below.